A team of joint rescue operations has accused the owner of four-story building that collapsed in Life Camp Habija of violating construction regulations and using substandard materials. The team comprising the Federal Fire Service, Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Agency, Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, and Nigerian Police. The Director General of Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Agency, Abbas Idris, stated this to journalists on Tuesday when on site for evaluation. You know, they are very selfish, most of the people, and they know about these uh, guidelines. There's no way you can get approval for building without getting the guidelines that these are the standards and these are the methods and these are the quality of uh, things, materials you are going to use. Indeed, they show them uh, kind of uh, samples of how the equipment, I mean how the, uh, like, uh, 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 the platform will be, the deckings and other things. But yet they go con contrary to that and in order to cut corners and uh, they feel that is the only way to save some money. So they go ahead and build indiscriminately and then without really following the uh, required and approved building guidelines. And then at the end, people will start accusing the government for not doing its own work. That's the issue. Rosili previously reported that construction workers were trapped in collapsed four-story structure in life camp, Jabi in Abuja. It was learned that the building intended for hotel accommodations located in swampy area was said to have collapsed unexpectedly. A team from search and rescue operation told their correspondent that there were no casualties till nine construction workers were rescued and taken to the hospital for medical attention on Tuesday. While sympathizing with the rescue victims, Idris stated that to avoid such incidents, the next building had to be demolished. In a report published in May 2023, the Standards Organization of Nigeria stated that Nigeria had the highest number of building collapse in Africa, with Lagos serving as epic center. Over the years, the country's constant building collapse have resulted in loss of lives and jobs, as well as eroding confidence in the real estate business. The appropriate authority failed to maintain quality control and compliance, despite their responsibilities to provide consistent inspections, transparent approval and enforced standards. In response, Professor Sam Sindona, Director General of Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, described the building collapse as preventable human error. There is no building collapse that occurs without nobody going there. But the idea is that NIPRI does not have the mandate to arrest. We can only create awareness and recommend to the relevant stakeholders on how all the measures to be put in place so that this thing will not happen again. In several locations we have visited, we have come up with strong recommendations and we have distributed our report to the relevant stakeholders. Some measures have been taken, some processes are about to take in to ensure that this thing does not happen. But the idea is that, as I said earlier, somebody somewhere is not doing his job. Anytime there's a building collapse, our results are always made available to the relevant stakeholders for them to implement it. I cannot say, Libri cannot go to a particular location and say, employ this person, fire this person, do this person, and so on and so forth. But when we say measures are to be put in place, I expect the relevant agencies to comply with what NIBRI has recommended. So somebody somewhere is not enforcing the issue of NIBRI recommendations. And if those recommendations are enforced, I want to assure you that building collapse could have been things on the past. But now they've been withdrawn from the port. They said, don't be at the port, come to the inside. And all these materials, some are imported material. You need to nick them at the port at the point of entry to check if these materials are meeting, meeting up the standard specification or not. But if you allow this material to enter the market, how many marketers would the SON be pursuing them? You can see this thing is so wide. But the idea is that the good thing is for every material to be used on site, you need to carry out tests to ensure that the material is standard before using. That will be the bottom line of all things. He also stated that an inquiry into the course of the building collapse will begin and that the institute will provide strong recommendations.